Doctor. Good afternoon, friends from the media. I would like to formally welcome you to this press conference at the conclusion of the visit of the Honorable Election Commission to review the poll preparedness for assembly elections in Telangana. I have with me the Honorable Chief Election Commissioner, Sri Rajiv Kumarji, the Honorable Election Commissioner, Sri Anup Chandra Pandeji, and the Honorable Election Commissioner, Sri Arun Goelji. We also have with us today senior officials from the ECI headquarters in Delhi and the CEO of Telangana, Sri Vikas Raj. I'm B. Narayanan, DG Media for the Commission. The format is as follows. There will be opening remarks by CEC, sir, along with the presentation. We will share the PDF copy of the presentation with all of you after the event is over. Following this, there will be a brief question and answer session. Please confine your question to the review of poll preparedness. When you want to ask a question, raise your hand. Wait for your chance to be called to put your question. When it's your <coughs> turn, introduce yourself and your organization, and then ask your questions. Kindly keep your mobiles on silent. Sir, I request you to deliver your opening remarks. Thank you, Mr. Narayanan. Honorable Election Commissioner Shri Anupchand Pandeji on my left. Honorable Election Commissioner Shri Anun Goelji on my right. CEO Telangana Shri Vikash Raj, officers from Election Commission, and friends from media in such a large number. Namaskaram, first of all, to all of you. And welcome to this press conference. On behalf of the Election Commission, I first of, in the very beginning, at the outset, through you, want to convey hearty greetings to all the residents of Telangana, our voters, and also appeal and call and request to all our voters in Telangana to participate in the forthcoming elections. In the Festival of Democracy, it is our earnest request to all of them to come to the booth and celebrate the <coughs> Festival of Democracy. Friends, we have gathered here today to give you the brief on the preparedness and what we did in the last uh, two and a half days. As you know, Telangana is one of the youngest states in India, but it has a glorious history, really glorious history. And it presents a great example for India's composite culture, pluralism, and inclusiveness. Traditionality and the modern IT, all in one place. And we have really witnessed this in last uh, two and a half days. And no doubt it's a miniature India. And because of its own very plural and inclusive nature, and a classic example of unity in diversity. Friends, Election Commission is fully committed, without any doubt, to deliver free, fair, transparent, and inducement-free elections. <laughs> inducement-free, I'll elaborate quite in detail in the, in the later parts. So before coming to this, I'll once again request all the voters through you to please come and vote. All the urban area voters, all the youth, women, PBTGs, all included, PWD voters, AT plus, everyone to please come and join in this celebration. Last two days, we met first the political parties. So I'll in brief give you what they told us, what were their expectations from us, and what is our response to their request made to us, suggestions made to us. Thereafter, Commission had uh, meetings with the enforcement agencies, the central and state. I will give you a detail of whom all we met and what did we tell them. Yesterday, whole day, we met the SPs, DMs, Commissioners of Police, and all other enforcement state level, district level agencies, followed by the meeting with the Chief Secretary, DGP, and all senior officers of the state today, just before this press conference. I will give you an overall view of all what transpired and what and how we are going to conduct it and address those issues. 
So coming to the political parties, we, uh, we met the representatives of AAP, BSP, CPIM, BJP, Indian National Congress, AIMIM, Telugu Desham Party and Bharat Rashtra Party. So what did they tell us? In, 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 in summary, they told us that election should be inducement free in Telangana. This was the first demand. They requested that money power, liquor, freebies distribution in the state should be curbed. Some said that voter ID card should be linked with Aadhaar. Timely distribution of voter information slips. Family members should be allotted to the extent possible the same polling station. ASD list and voter list should be provided to the parties. The expenditure limit of the candidate should be enhanced. One party mentioned that. Non-partisan action against any complaint irrespective of political party. Basically, level playing field. Parties welcome DCI's initiative of home voting for elderlies and PWDs. They requested for enhancing electoral participation in urban areas, also ensuring purity of electoral rolls. Deployment of CAPF on critical locations. Deployment of micro observers in the polling stations, especially in urban areas. Stop impersonation on poll day. Do webcasting of polling stations. Vigil over hate speech and social media. Uniform rate list for items across the state for including in the expenditure. So this is what is the overall uh, suggestions given to us. I will respond to them as and when either with this topic or in the end. So friends, coming to the overview of uh, electors in the state of Telangana. As you know, there are 119 constituencies of which 88 are general, 12 are STs and 19 are SCs. The total electors as per the roll published yesterday and it is published in all the five poll going states together on 4th of October. In Telangana, total electors are 3.17 crore and very happy position that male and female are almost equal at 1.58 and 1.58 crores. This is an empowerment of the women, which also I will speak in detail later. We made efforts to make the voter list very inclusive and worked with great deal with the enrollment of the transgenders. So we have been able to register 2557 transgenders and persons with disability marked in our electors role are 5 lakh and 6 thousand. This is again our efforts to make our electoral rolls inclusive and include every section of the society. 80 plus voters are 4.43 of which 7,689 are 100 plus. This is again a very happy situation that we have the blessings of our seniors, 80 plus and 100 plus in these states and they are all part of our voter list. Friends, another effort was made to include the young voters. So between 18 and 19, the young voters number is 8.11 lakhs, which is also a very encouraging trend. Now, coming to the transparency and equal opportunity measures which were taking while preparing the electoral rolls. Deletions are done only when Form 7 is received. No so moto deletion. It is only and only after receiving a form and doing a ground verification. Even, even in the case of registered deaths, the certificates verification was mandatory. All deletions have been verified at the level of officers. And wherever deletions took place, this is just to give you an assurance that this is correct. 10% of the total deletions randomly selected and again TG check. Further, wherever the total number of deletions in any constituency is more than 2%. This has to be mandatorily cross-checked and verified by the ERO. So, 
the this is about the uh, deletion part now about the purity of the electoral rolls so the overview is like 22 lakhs voters have been deleted through an intensive process of 222 and 23 this is part of making it a pure uh, initially i talked about inclusiveness now i'm talking about the purity i'll also talk about the accuracy part of it 14 lakh dead duplicate voters deleted during 22 and 7.9 lakhs during 23. Uh, how do we then next? Now, there was a legacy issue in the state that many high rise buildings, there were issues. So, 757 teams were made for covering 4,605 RWAs, covering 14.57 lakh households. And 50,000 forms 6 and 8 were received, either to add the new voters or to make the corrections. Door numbers, address verifications, having more than 6 voters across the state. This was another exercise which was taken. There was a there were complaints here that uh, one house number has uh, many more voters. So you must have also been reading and reporting about this. So what was done? All households across the state which has more than six voters, that list was fetched from the system. So the number came to 7.66 lakh houses identified with over 75.97 lakh voters across the state. This was the number of voters which these uh, households had, of which 4.15 lakh voters identified for address correction. So somebody's house was a different number, it was an oblique number, whatever that was corrected. Uh, transparency in uh, this. So both we have just said vision of transparency in entire electoral process. Before that, while doing the electoral rolls uh, exercise over two years, over this uh, uh, SSR 23, first and second, there were more than 1,000 meetings held with the representatives of the political parties at different levels, districts and the state. So that at every stage, whenever you publish, you receive claims, you have objections, you dispose of objections, at every stage you have a discussion and you have the transparency and disclosures. Now, coming to the transparency in overall process from roll to poll to counting, the process is so inclusive and so transparent that at every stage of updation of electoral rolls, as I mentioned, the political parties were involved and more than 1,000 meetings took place in SSR 1 and SSR 2, 23. Similarly, FLC commissioning, symbol loading, mock polls, storage of EVMs, booth level agents at every stage. The, the hallmark is, the philosophy underlying is that we disclose, we make it transparent and then we also involve and take suggestions. Next. Now, how do we make it inclusive? So now number one is the focus on youth. 8.11 lakh voters, as I mentioned. And last year, before last year, if you remember, we made an amendment in the Act. The eligibility date for becoming a voter was 1st January of the year. We changed it to 1st of the every quarter. Means throughout the year, whosoever is becoming 18 need not wait for the next year's 1st January. Because of this, four qualifying dates. 2.21 lakhs new voters have been identified and added in the electoral rolls in Telangana, meaning thereby again, they would be able to vote in this election because of this amendment. And gender ratio in this group, age group 18 to 19, which is our focus group, because they are the future of the, of the country, has increased from 707 to 743. It means more girls have come still we have to add many more. Now, coming to the focus on women, as I mentioned in the beginning, the number of voters, male and female, is now 1.58 each crores. 1.58 crores each. The gender ratio is 998. And now, how do we, in, in 18 to 19, I mentioned women voters is 3.45 lakhs. 
But now how do we ensure that they come and vote? So we are identifying 66 ACs where elector gender ratio is less than 1000. Average is 998, so we still want to work and make it, though it's almost 100% now, 1.58, 1.58, but still there are constituencies, 66, where it is less than 1000, and we are working on it. And similarly, there are 18,659 polling stations where women voter turnout rate is less than the male turnout rate. We are going to focus there also. So it is not only a happy situation of enrollment of women, young children 18 to 19, but also identifying constituencies where they are not for any reason able to come to vote so that we go there, have an outreach, and request them to please come and vote. Friends, another aspect of the inclusion, I mean, if, if, if you look at the entire uh, electoral roll, it has 18 to 19, it has 80 plus, it has 100 plus, it has PTGs, PBTGs, it has transgenders. So PBTGs, what we did, we have four PBTGs in uh, Telangana. This is also we are doing everywhere. Overall, to just inform you, there are 75 PBTGs in the country. We are doing it everywhere. As regards Telangana, there are Chinchu, Kolam, Thoti, and Kondareti. Population being 59,583 and eligible 39,000. And happy to report, all of them are now our voters. This is the inclusive part. Nobody should be left behind. Every vote counts and every vote matters to us. We will go last mile to not only enroll, but also to request them and come and vote. Similarly, the third gender, uh, we have a, a state icon. Their number has increased to 2556. We have made certain changes in the form. If they do not have parents' name or for any reason, whatever their requirements, we are making, we have made those changes so that we take in the name of the guru and others. But the underlying idea is to register all of them. After this, Giving you this overview of voters, let me give an overview of polling stations. There are total 35,356 polling stations. And average number of voters on each is 897. All these slides will be shared with you so that if you want to use, you can use it. The rural areas have 20,000, predominantly more. We'll do around 78% here, the webcasting. Uh, our mandate is to do minimum 50. The CO is deciding to do it is 27,000. We will have vote polling stations which will be exclusively managed by the persons with disability, with youth who are young, with women and modal PS. Why? The philosophy behind it is to showcase, to tell that this booth is managed by all our women, including security forces, all managed by persons with disabilities. So they are not uh, looking for a sympathy, they are equal to us. So this is how it will happen. Now, coming to the enhanced voter experience, I've said that this is how we will increase the model PS polling stations with PWD, so that people have larger uh, comfort while coming to the voters. All polling stations will have uh, minimum facilities of toilet, drinking water, signage, ramp, and also the volunteers for helping the persons with disability. Friends, first time in Telangana, there would be a facility available to all our senior citizens who are 4.43 lakhs, 80 plus, to vote from the comfort of their home if they so want. This is the facility given to them. Though it is an administrative exercise for us, we have to go for fetching a boat, but they can apply within five days of the notification by filing a form that is called 12T and we will go to their home and that whenever we go so that their boat is not, secrecy is not uh, compromised, this route would be uh, publicized, it would be shared with political parties, it would be videographed and the privacy would be maintained by making a compartment right there as we do it on the booth. So this is our... Uh, respect and uh, um, salute to the senior citizens. Similarly, the persons with disabilities can also vote from home, those who have 40% and plus uh, 
uh, disability. Here, if they want to come to the polling station, which they, they are, many of them are willing to come to the polling station, they are happy willing, coming to the polling station. This is our experience. There would be volunteers, there would be wheelchairs, and there is an IT-based application called Saksham. All the persons with disabilities can book in advance whatever facilitation they want. So now, through you, I want to convey that the polling station is an, is, a, is, a, is an entity now where we want to express the inclusivity of the society, male, female, 80 plus, transgender, PBTGs, all alike. Therefore, again request to everybody to please come and vote. Now, having told you about the ER and the uh, polling stations, let me come to the some uh, technology part, which is very, this particular part is called the C Vigil mobile application. It is extremely useful for us, and we request your help in in, in popularizing this to curb the use of money power or any freebies. Please download this app. On this app, you can just take a direct photo of anything which is wrong happening anywhere. If a voter or a candidate or anybody, any citizen who sees that something wrong is happening which is unethical from the purposes of the, from the point of view of the elections, like somebody is distributing money, somebody is distributing liquor or freebie or sari or cooker or whatever. Take a photo or write a few sentences, post it. Your name is not known. We will not disclose your name. And you don't have to tell your location. The location will automatically be taken through the longitude and latitude of the, your location. Your location will be taken. So what does it do? In 100 minutes, we will verify your complaint and convey to you what had happened. What you true, was it not true, what action we have taken. So this has helped us in curbing money power in many states. So to the citizens of Telangana and through the help of the friends from the media, please popularize this in the interest of democracy and in the interest of all of us so that we can curb this uh, misuse of money power. Similarly, there is a voter helpline, as I mentioned about the electoral roll. Please still uh, download this voter helpline and check your uh, voter ID card or check your polling station or any information one wants to know. You can even download your EPIC card if your mobile number is fed in the system. So this is, the, this is for the voters. And the next application is for, again, the help of the citizens to know what is, uh, what is the uh, know your candidate. After the, sorry, one is the Subida portal. The one was for the voter, next is for the candidates. To, have, to, to make the level playing field available to the candidates. If I apply for a ground, for a public rally, the party which applies first should get it first. First in, first out. So on this application, this is to bring transparency so that the administration is not partisan. This Suvida app can be used by all candidates. The next is again very important application, which again we want to request you to popularize, know your candidate. If any candidate has a criminal background, it is all available here for the voter to know and make an informed choice. The affidavit as filed by the candidate is available on this. So entire information is available. This is to encourage and this is to make the voter make the informed choices. Not only this, not only the candidate has to publish in three different occasions in the leading newspapers about the criminal background, also the political party will have to tell and publish why they selected a candidate with a criminal background. They also have to publish the reasons so that Voters can make the informed choices. The, there is an urban apathy, again through you we would request, which is uh, set in. The state voter turnout is 73%, but in urban areas it is quite less. 
So while we have identified 29 ACs in eight districts with urban uh, agglomerates, there are 24 of these in the GHMC area, and we have a mission 29 to increase the voting percentage in the urban areas. Uh, now, friends, coming to the uh, inducement part and telling you about the strict vigil on the interstate borders. There are 89 police checkposts. As you know, uh, Telangana shares border with four states. We have 89 checkposts, total something like uh, uh, 148 checkposts in all for 88 from police, commercial taxes, excise, forest, all put together, there are 148 checkposts. So now what do we, what have we directed for this? How do we curb the money power? We met the, uh, for the inducement free elections, we met all the enforcement agencies to just to give you a glimpse of whom all we met. State police, state excise, central GST and custom, state GST, Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, CISF, Income Tax, Enforcement Directorate, State Transport. This list would be given to you, RBI, Civil Aviation, Narcotics, Railways, Forest, everybody, whosoever is involved in enforcement uh, activity was called. So what did we tell them? The first very, very loud and clear message was given to each one of them to act very strictly against the use of money power during elections. They were directed to almost drive the inflow and distribution of liquor, cash, freebies, and trucks. This uh, perception or actual reality of misuse of money power, freebies distribution by various political parties or candidates is, doesn't augur well for democracy. So we have very, very clearly given them this message. And not that they take action only against small, small peddlers. They have been asked to identify kingpins of each uh, malpractice. Whosoever is uh, big involved in liquor or drugs or this, they must identify. 180, 48 check posts which I mentioned would all be now uh, be having CCTV coverage, which is to be looked at the control room. What is happening? Online cash transfers, banks have been also directed to keep a watch. So that through wallet and all, money doesn't transfer to the voters. SLBC, that is the state level banker committee through RBI, has been told specifically to not allow the cash dispensing vehicles to move after the designated hours. There are possibilities, and there, were room, there, were, uh, pos there are possibilities that those vans are used for carrying the cash. A special vigil, they have been asked, asked to keep on ambulances, and even if they doubt on the government vehicles, if they feel that can uh, be used to carry the irregular or illegal things. Similarly, there are airports and private and, and helipads in the state. All the helipads, all the airstrips outside the where, wherever the non-commercial and unscheduled flights land, where the parties come, candidates come, they will all be manned and checked. Again, an application has been made to coordinate the work of all the enforcement agencies, meaning thereby they don't work in silos. Their reports are available, and they report to amongst themselves what is happening, and they report to us what are they doing. Similarly, directions were further given to the state enforcement agencies for what? The sensitive goods which can be used as uh, freebies, essentially FMCGs and sarees and, 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 and cookers and this, that. All the warehouses and go-downs, whichever are there in the state and which can store this, they have been asked to keep a vigil and, and, and check them. What have we further said that the resources of excise, commercial taxes, uh, police, all must be pooled, even transport. Buses fly without getting any checking done. Railways. Railways are also extremely critical for, uh, should be checked thoroughly through the GRP and through the RPF. They have also been directed. Checking of cargo movements through non-scheduled charter flights, as I mentioned, 
will also be done by the district authorities wherever there are uh, unscheduled flights landing. And then how do we monitor? We'll monitor it through a weekly report of actions taken by different agencies, each one of them. Income tax, ED, customs, excise, every one of them. Uh, district uh, election officers and SPs have been directed that number one, if there is a grievance from a political party or the candidate, they must inquire and respond. This is to ensure that there is a level playing field. The whosoever makes a complaint, there must be an answer to this. Voter information slips, so that people are aware as to where their polling station is, should be distributed in advance, not before a day or two of the polling day, so that everybody is aware as to where his polling station is, because there were cases reported to us that even families in some cases are not in the same booth. So they are definitely within two kilometers, but still they must be aware as to where they are and, and the VIS voter information slip must be distributed in time. EVMs and VB pads and everything should be moved strictly in the official vehicles, nowhere anywhere else. The cases of paid news and uh, any violation on social media is to be strictly checked and monitored by the each district through the special cells which they will be forming for this purpose. Some exist, some they will further uh, mention. Uh, now, liquor outlets, they will check the liquor outlets also for any rising trend in the offtake. Means if the consumption was X, if it is suddenly becoming something, so this is to check the out, check the outgo from the duty paid and the official shops as well. And in addition, anything which is going beyond this. Police has been very strictly asked to execute all the non available warrants, whichever are pending, so that no miscreants remain in the, uh, remain outside till the elections are there. And they are in any case supposed to do this. We'll be also posting female staff to the polling stations to the extent possible to check the possible impersonations. And uh, impersonation in any case is a offense, which you all know. We'll also be deploying observers for free fair elections, general observers, police observers, and also expenditure observers. All three will be deployed, their phone numbers, their locations where they stay would be widely publicized through newspapers and through websites of the everyone so that and they will also be required to stay at one particular place for some time fixed timing so that anybody wanting to reach at that spot they must be available number one or through a telephone or through anything social media cells I have already mentioned that they will be established so friends, now to kind of sum up. We are committed to deliver free, fair, and transparent elections. Money power, freebies would be distribution, any of these would be on our special radar. We have directed the machinery, central and state both to be extremely vigilant and careful and strict about this. We are sure that they will act. If they do not act, we'll make them act. As the time comes, we'll assess and ensure that they act on all of this. Media has always been our strongest ally. Election Commission recognizes this uh, in, its, in its philosophy for a variety of reasons. It is through you that we'll come to know of anything which we are saying is not happening. And it is through you that we announce many things. Say for instance, the schedule when we announce after going, uh, reviewing all the states, only the press would be first to know. Nobody else can ever know about it. So you're very strong allies. We request through you again, three, four things. The 
applications like C vigil, applications like Saksham, which is for our PWD candidates, um, PWD voters, the women uh, awareness for their voting, youth, KYC, which is for knowing the candidate and its criminal background, is all popularized through your mediums, through the power of your pen and your uh, channels, all alike. Thank you very much once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the detailed briefing. Friends, floor is open for questions. Just keep sitting. Just raise your hands. The micers will come to you. Uh, second row over there. Yeah, please. So that kindly.